The medical industry just wants to keep as many people as fat and as sick as they possibly can, which a lot of people are aware of this, but then there's a lot of people that just have blinders on going around like this, where they completely trust in the medical industry and the advice and the pharmaceuticals that they give them to help them eliminate certain health issues, when at the end of the day, they're not really curing anyone of health issues and they're not preventing them in the first place from occurring as well. And it's really, really simple as to why. It is a massive, massive, industry that makes the most revenue in the world. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. And just Johnson's alone made around 80 billion revenue in 2018. Yes, 80 billion revenue. And that was just one pharmaceutical company. But when you combine them all together, how much they've made in total is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of billion of revenue. And then it makes you think, hmm, why would they want to make us prevent sickness and disease and stop us from getting obese? Because it's just not in their best interest, is it? Of course they don't want you to be healthy whatsoever. And yet we just live in a world where a lot of people just want a quick fix. They don't want to make positive, healthy changes in their lifestyle to make them as healthy as possible and give them the most optimal physique and body weight that they possibly can have. So yeah, what most people are gonna do is go towards pharmaceuticals because they want that quick fix. But as we know, pharmaceuticals do not cure any health issues whatsoever. All they do is suppress certain symptoms and then they cause other health issues and symptoms in the body and then they tell you you need to take this one to counteract that negative effect from that pharmaceutical and so on and so on and so on. And it's just absolutely crazy. In 2017, it was proven that around 200 people a day were dying, which is around 72,000 from pharmaceuticals that are approved by the FDA and said to be very safe. But if you do more research into this, so many pharmaceuticals approved by the FDA gets pulled off the market after a while. And I was actually listening to an interview with someone, I can't remember the person's name, but she used to be really high up for the pharmaceutical companies and her daughter ended up having some of the pharmaceuticals and it ended her life. So then she wanted to start spreading the proof on this subject. And what she said is, they don't care if people get harmed by them whatsoever and sue them. What they can do is just put a pharmaceutical out there, it harms people, it may end their lives, loads of people sue them, and for example, they may have to pay settlements in court to certain people that have been harmed from the pharmaceuticals, and it may cost them around 200 million. But then the drug has made them billions and billions and billions. So the amount of revenue they lost is just a very small amount compared to the total that they've made. So it doesn't matter to them whatsoever. And at the end of the day, they do not care about you. All they care about with you is making you reliant on them and the drugs that they want to sell to you so they can make as much money as possible. And I would say, this is, well, exactly what I say, is doctors are the real drug pushers of the world. And as you'll notice, as I used to, when I used to go to doctors many, many years ago, I haven't been to none for a very long time, they normally look very fat and sick as well. So why are you gonna go to someone that doesn't really give you any results from the things they recommend for you to take, and then they're not really a picture of health as well. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But most people do not think outside of the box. Most people are sheeple, and it's just like, come on, wake up. If it's not really helping you get the results you want, look in to certain people by going online and doing your own research and find people that are really getting the results that you want. But like I said, a lot of people just have no self-control and no self-discipline, no self-love, and a lot of people don't want to make any changes in their life that could be considered hard work where they need to do something consistently over a long time to get the results that they desire. But yeah. That's just the reality we live in. There's people that are like that and then there's people that aren't like that, such as myself and people like you that are watching this video now. And I remember listening to a Joe Rogan podcast the other day. I can't remember who he was interviewing, but they were talking about things such as opioids and how opioids are the biggest selling pharmaceutical in 
America, which is absolutely crazy, especially because what they said in this video is the most highly prescribed opioid, which I don't remember the name of it, costs $200 a pop. Yes, $200 per pill. That is insane amounts of money. So yeah, what do the pharmaceutical companies do and the medical companies and doctors? They like to make people like myself and Carl Robertson from The Snake Diet and other certain people just seem like we're absolute wackos and crazy people that are really dangerous because of the information we're sharing. But the reason why they do this is because what we actually share with people is effective and it either costs hardly any money or no money whatsoever, such as water fasting, dry fasting, intermittent fasting, the Wim Hof breathing method, which I've talked about a couple of times on this channel. You could even go to urine therapy. Some people are grossed out by that, but yeah, it's another three thing. Just getting outside in nature, doing dopamine fasting, and so many other things as well. So they want to demonize as many things as they possibly can that will actually give people results, because by doing that, then then not making sure that these things get widely accepted by the masses, so then they don't lose loads of money. So do not trust these people whatsoever. Like I said, find people that have got the results that you want, try out what they recommend that they've done to get themselves results and other people, see if it works for you. If it doesn't, then go to someone else, try some other different advice from someone else until you find something that works for you. It's really that simple. And yet this industry is just run by so many like sociopaths and psychopaths that really don't care about human beings to the degree where they are harming people left, right and center. And it's just absolutely crazy that we live in a world with this going on, but there's nothing that I can do, or necessarily other people can do to shut them down. The only way that they could not exist is by people just saying we're not buying these anymore, but if that ever happened in this lifetime is another thing. The likelihood of it ever happening is just very, very low. But what you can do every single day as a person, you have control over no one else, including your family, the government, the pharmaceutical companies, and various other things, but you have control over yourself if you want it. So it's about empowering yourself and actually learning information that can put in place to make you become the best, healthiest version of yourself and help you acquire the dream body that you may desire as well. And you only just need to think about it. Way before pharmaceutical companies were around, what have we been doing? We've been taking herbs, we've been fasting, we've been eating whole foods and just doing so many other different things to help optimize health and body fat percentage. But yeah, we just live in a world where so many people are very disconnected from their natural environment. They're doing a lot of unnatural things. Most people are in buildings like I am with artificial lights. Normally people are just sitting down excessive amounts. A lot of people are just eating processed junk food that's not good for them. And they're doing so many other things that is just destroying their health holistically. So we just need to get back to nature as much as we possibly can because the more that you can, the healthiest you're gonna be. So stop putting any of these chemical products down your throat. They're just not good whatsoever. And who is actually being cured from them? Pretty much no one whatsoever because it isn't addressing the root cause of the issue, whatever issue going on that they're trying to resolve with a stupid pharmaceutical that just keeps you dependent upon for the rest of your life and just costs you a lot of money and just has such a negative impact on your health and your life short term and long term. And yeah, one last thing I want to mention is you think about it. A lot of people, they feel depressed, they go to a doctor, they say take this antidepressant and normally it causes a lot more issues than good. When you normally read the side effects on these things, they can cause things such as suicidal thoughts, and anger, emotional outbursts, anxiety, insomnia, and the list just goes on and on and on. So it can actually exacerbate the depression that you've got going on. But it's been proven through scientific research, such as with exercise, it's a very effective way to naturally relieve yourself of depression. It's not necessarily gonna work with everyone because you may need to do something different because Different, because as with any health issue, it's not necessarily always just due to this thing or that thing, it can vary from person to person. 
but it can definitely help minimize your depression symptoms going on. So it's getting your body to release an abundance of endorphins, which are feel good hormones, and it gives you a whole host of other benefits that improve your mood overall. But yet we have so many people that are just sitting around hardly doing anything whatsoever, and yet, yeah, that's doing the total opposite thing of exercise, which is it just lowers your mood and just makes you feel worse and worse mentally and physically, holistically. And there is just so many other different things. And when you also think about it with depression, yes, exercise can help, but most people are living a life that they don't love, they hate it. They're normally in a relationship that's not good for them and that is not fulfilling. They've normally got the wrong people around them. They're eating foods that are full of chemicals and poison that mess up your hormone production and neurotransmitter production. Most people are working a job that they don't like whatsoever. It's like, man, of course you're depressed. Why wouldn't anyone be if they was living your human experience? So start looking in your life. If you've got depression, just start questioning. What do I love to do in my life and what do I not love to do? Write a list down. Start doing more of the things that you love to do and less of the things you don't like to do. And yes, you may have to make some radical life changes. I had to when I overcome depression years and years and years ago. And now I'm at a point where I've created the life of my dreams, where I have my dream girlfriend, I live in my dream location with my dream job as a full-time YouTuber, I have an abundance of money and I have so many amazing people around me, I live in a tropical paradise, all because I made the conscious choice to create it. And we all have the choice to create what we want and what we don't want. So you can either do that consciously or unconsciously. You have the choice. You can either go this direction or this direction. It's really as simple as that. So that's the end of this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up, please share this with others. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos like this from me on a regular basis. As always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.